What's up guys, it's your boys Awoke back with another movie review and I just came back from Ant-Man and the Wasp and boy oh boy do we have things to talk about. But first make sure you guys sub subscribe by hitting that white bar icon down at the bottom right, hit the bell icon next to it, hit the like button, helps out the channel immensely and thank you guys so very much. With that being said, we're going to be talking about the Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. I don't, I'm, this is non-spoiler, okay? I'm not going to give any spoilers away. I'll do that d down the road. I do want to let you guys know that there are two post credit scenes. Definitely take a look at them. Definitely very interesting. I wouldn't say that they're stupid, like some people are saying, but they're very interesting, okay? Now, I want to, I'm not going to say anything about the ending of uh, Kang and the Conqueror uh, or Ant-Man or the Wasp or Cassie or whatever have you. I just want to say my honest opinion when it comes to this movie i definitely don't know why people are comparing it to eternals being bad this was a great movie i definitely enjoyed it. i wouldn't say it was fantastic it wasn't avengers quality obviously it's ant-man and the wasp now i guarantee or i wouldn't say guarantee but i'm telling you right now i thought this ant-man and the wasp was a lot better than the second one because obviously we have kane the conqueror as the villain Instead of the ghost, obviously, from that one. Um, I just overall thought this one movie definitely had its moments of humor. I didn't think they overdid it. I thought it was funny at times when it needed to be. And I thought it was serious when it needed to be. I didn't think it was all over the place. Kind of like Love and Thor, uh, Thor Love and Thunder. I, d I definitely loved Lo Thor Love and Thunder. But this is one of those movies that I don't see myself watching over and over and over. I might watch it when it comes out on DVD. I'll watch it again. Six to seven, eight months later, I'll watch it again. Now, it's not like Avengers Endgame or Avengers Infinity War or Captain America Winter Soldier or Iron Man 2. or It's not like those movies myself that I'll watch over and over and over and over and not get sick of it. Ant-Man the Wasp, I could watch this maybe three or four more times and not be sick of it. But I don't know why everybody's being so judgmental, so hate hating on it. Some people thought this movie was a joke. I didn't think it was that bad. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit more interesting because they have to cram so much information of a big bad like Kang into one movie that's two hours and five minutes long. People have this pedestal that they're taking every single Marvel movie and putting on this pedestal that it needs to be the same quality as Avengers Infinity War, Avengers Endgame, Spider-Man No Way Home. They have to have cameos in it. It has to have this character from that other movie in there. It's like we have to build up the story. Yes, it's taking a little bit of time, but where do you think... Marvel was how many years ago? Okay, started out with Iron Man. Then it, we then we got other movies. We got Captain America. We got Hulk. We got all these Guardians of the Galaxy one. We had all these movies that built up until Avengers: Infinity War and Avengers: Endgame. It's gonna take time to build up to Avengers: Kang the Dynasty. Avengers Secret Wars. It's gonna take time, and people are just like, this better be the greatest thing since sliced bread. It's Ant Man and the Wasp 3 Quantum Mania, okay? We're learning about the quantum realm, that there's people that are living down there. What Jane was, or, um, uh, not Jane. Yes, Jane. Jane was doing down there. I'm very tired. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm recording this at 10 20. To get you guys the the scoop for the those that are watching on my channel. Um, what she was doing down there. Who she met. The kind of the backstory of Kang. Not the one who he remains. From Loki. But Kang. Okay. Kang. The, the, the person that played Kang. Um, what's his name? Jonathan Majors brilliant character when it comes to king love the character um catherine newton that plays the new cassie definitely loved her character sassy um kind of just she owned the part okay bill murray <laughs> it's bill murray definitely no no uh 
hatred there, but my brother was kind of shocked that he was in there. But just overall, I enjoyed the movie. I have a one to five scale. I would give it a three. Out of a uh, one to ten scale, I'd give it a seven. Um, if you guys are on the fence about watching it in theaters, go watch it. Have have a blast. Have fun. I just don't see myself hating the movie. It was it was good, but it wasn't fantastic. It wasn't above and beyond. Um, yeah. So with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the reaction, or not the reaction, the review. Non spoiler warning because I don't want to I don't want to say anything in this video that might uh, trip anything. But if you guys want the spoiler warning or the, if you guys want the spoiler version of this one, comment your guys' thoughts down below. Hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as always, and we'll keep you uh, or we'll see you guys in the next video. So keep it real, keep it safe, and as always, keep learning on, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.